Okay, uh, welcome to the next video. This is a, uh, a follow-on from the, uh, the Fated Mini convertible, the R57, uh, 2009, 10, 11, that sort of era. Probably the same as an R56. You're going to have to bear with me because um, this is a new phone, so it might go out of focus a little bit. Right, what's the job? What we've been doing? Replacing these bushes, which are the... Uh, lower trailing arm there's the lower trailing arm here with the uh with the inner ball joint get back on here so i can get a bit of a so there's the inner ball joint here you can just sort of see it's, it's loose at the moment it's behind there um and and obviously there's the bottom of the hub so big job big messy horrible job um right what you've got First of all, is we've got to get the, the lower wishbone out. So in order to get that lower wishbone out, um, what we're going to do is uh, steer an arm ball joint, uh, anti-roll bar uh, on the top, disconnect that from the drop link on the edge of the shocker up here. Um, and then the two nuts on the bottom of the, the uh, bottom arm, where it, where it goes into the hub. And then there's a ball joint there. This ball joint, absolutely stuck. Really, really hard to get out. The way that we got that out is we put a nut on it, uh, wound a, an old nut on it, has uh, you know flush with the top of it, and then we literally got a mallet. And I'm not on about a mallet like this. I'm on about a sledgehammer mallet, um, and then you know, you know give it give it a proper a proper whack like that with a sledge, your proper big sledgehammer. Um, that was the only way that we could manage to actually get that in a ball joint out. It was absolutely well. Both of them on both sides were absolutely. Uh, rock solid so you disconnect the, the bottom arm then now the problem you've got is up here I'm trying to use my pointer up here um, you'll see this ratchet strap in a minute which I'll tell you about this is the bush that you're going to replace now this housing has got two bolts on the top and it comes through into a thread on the bottom of the uh, the subframe here you can't get them out from the top there's not enough space um, you might be if you want to spend hours on it um so so how you have to get that out ball ache of a job so this subframe here this is this is the subframe all the way along here obviously goes underneath you know on the other side you can see it comes up here it comes to two front rails on the front so what i've done i don't know whether this is right or wrong or whatever um but this is how i did it where you get onto the front here the front subframe on both sides you can see them there on that side uh, it like slots in with these two bolts so i've took the bolts out on both sides i put these one back in the other day just for a bit of stability so you take two out there two out the other side take the bottom engine mount bolt out uh, here um, it's all right there's other engine mounts holding it in so it's not going to fall on your head um, then we've got a bolt uh, as the subframe here let me just show you as the subframe here the assembly comes up and up and around and he goes up there so up here you can just about see the hole there see that hole where my finger is there's a bolt that goes vertically up there up into the sort of front inner wing obviously one on the other side and then you come around here and there's a plate here there's three you can see the two big holes there there's th it'll be obvious when you get underneath this this plate here there's three or four um bolts that hold that rear section up so what you do is you take all them bolts out <coughs> the whole subframe becomes floppy and loose be careful up the top here i'm just going to show you where the steering rack comes through can you see where the steering racks come through there through the bulkhead it's the knuckle joint on the steering rack that's about as far as you can get it but you know without doing sort of any sort of damage to the steering rack but you, it enables to drop the whole thing two or three inches like so i'll just show you that again just up there, that's the steering rack ball joint. So you just need to be careful that you don't pull that out way too far, otherwise you will damage the, the steering rack. Right, so once you've released all the subframe and you've got the bottom arm loose, we've got to get the bottom arm uh, out. Um, ball ache of a job. So the best way to do it is to is to physically take that ratchet strap around here. Pull that out of the way. So what we're going to do, we've got, these, we've got to get these bushes out, we've got to push these out. Um, so we've got to get this out here. This there's a there's a pin in there. It's so on the back of the ball joint at the back of this thing. See the it's like a hex pin it goes all the way through. 
to the other side. Now, don't think my class originally I thought well, was that some sort of bolt head or something? No, it's not. It's just a hex pin on the bottom arm. So what you've got to do is get something in that gap and literally prise this bottom arm out. They are well tight. Now, I've seen a guy on a video on YouTube using a, a bent crowbar, and that looked like the best option. We used crowbars, whatnot in there, um, me and my mate. Uh, hard job, me and John, to get it out. Really hard job. Anyway, they, they did pop out eventually after a bit of grunching and fighting. Um, and then the bottom arm, obviously, is free to, to go out. And you can put it sort of to one side, ready to fee refit. Um, these bushes, we so what we did is, I've got a um, I've got a cup assembly, uh, which is you can buy off eBay, which is like a, a it's 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 actually for a hydraulic press, but it's it's a series of different size cups, um, and it comes with some bolts, some large sort of bolts about the size of your finger, uh, M10s, M12s, whatever they are, big bolts. Uh, and we put it all the way through and by using the cup assemblies you can you can press that out i mean i'm talking to you here like you know what you're doing with this sort of stuff because if you don't know what i'm on about at this sort of level then this job's probably way out your, your remit but uh, so we used a couple of cups and a, a big threaded bar you know out of a proper kit and i managed to pull them bushes out and press them out and then we press them back in using the same method um, now the hard thing was trying to get this bottom arm to get the pin back in to the new bush absolutely solid so mega lather and a grease rubber grease on it um, and what i've done to pull it in is i've had this ratchet strap so I'm just going to show you that because i've been fiddling with this for an hour so this ratchet strap goes up over the top and i had it just around the front of the wishbone just in front of the ball joint up here um, i tucked it <coughs> you can see so it sort of it sort of came up over the top of the wishbone and hooked around the front up here round I had it coming up over the bush and then I pulled it back down underneath the car and there's an exhaust mount see that 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 uh, circle of the exhaust mount on the center of the body there I just uh, I, I uh, ratcheted it from that um, it's only a little bit of tin it was strong enough to do it but it's uh, it has distorted it a little bit but I don't care about that um, it's only tertiary it's, only, it's not gonna affect anything um, and that then uh, get someone on a, a big truck ratchet strap Hello, Ted. Big truck ratchet strap, get your mate under there, ratchet in a way, and one person at the front here, keeping this straight-ish, you know, giving it a wiggle as it's going in. Um, you get some pressure on it, it's quite a lot of pressure, uh, but then you can, it basically, you get it in enough to what you need to do. Um, and now, it's just a case of obviously putting all back together. I've done one side, I've got the other to do. This has taken me weeks, because it's been in the middle of the winter. Another great job on the crappy mini obviously new discs and pads all around as well um, failed the MOT on them bushes um, just out of a point if you if you suspect yours are knackered the way to do it and the way to test it is when the car's on its wheels you just basically put the handbrake on and then put your foot on the wheel here put your foot on the front of the wheel and, and kick the wheel and try and push it and if you can see this whole thing sort of rocking backwards and forwards then it's these uh, there's these bushes that's a long video. I hope it makes sense anyway, but I mean, it might give you an opportunity because I've struggled like like bloody buggery with this thing. Um, so anyway, see how you get on. All right, cheers, thanks, bye.